and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Sure was good to see our friend Garn again. Yes, he's made great improvements in Targa since he became king. Hey, what's that? Well, let's find out. A signal of some kind. We'll zero in on it. Hmm, that's strange. The signal seems to be coming from that dune. Uh, I'm not so sure that is a dune. Come on. What's oh, metal? There's something hidden under this sand. Oh, something big. By the power of Grayskull! Stand back. A ship of some kind must have crashed here. I don't think this came from anywhere on Eternia. It's badly damaged. It must have. Duncan, look out! Like it's had enough. It must have built itself a sleeping hole underneath that ship. Speaking of that ship, let's take a look inside. Look, there's the ship's pilot. And the signal seems to be coming directly from him. And he seems to be in pretty bad shape. I think we should take him back to my lab. It's possible I might be able to repair him. <laughs> now our only problem is getting him running. I've tried everything I could think of, but nothing seems to work. No, oh, maybe we could just kick him. That always gets Father's Sky Chariot started. Just kidding, Duncan. One moment, please. Entrance to laboratory is restricted. Please state your name for identification. Why, I'm Orca. Thank you. Orco identified as pest. Entry not allowed. Sorry. Listen, you tin can. I'm on a mission for the king, so get out of the way. Entry of Orco into lab is forbidden. Stop, please, or I will have to take appropriate measures. As you wish. Hey! I'm afraid you'll have to leave this area. Hey, let me go, you, you rust bucket. I'm warning you. Go ahead, let me loose. Let me go. 
What's that racket? Sounds like Orko. I'll go check it out. Okay, Metal Puss, you asked for it. I wish you'd understand. This is just my job. Oh, malfunction, mal malfunction, help, oh, help, 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 help. Orko, is that... Orko, do you realize what you've done? I beg your pardon. He's active. I don't believe it. Orko must have jarred something that switched him on. I, I did? Excuse me, but could you define my present location? I, well, you're on the uh, planet of Eternia. Your ship crashed here and we found you. But who are you and where do you come from? I am called Robato. I am an explorer from the planet of Robotica. Forgive me if I appear rude, but I have never seen beings of your kind before. May I scan you? Well, I have no objection. It, it won't hurt, will it? It is a quite harmless procedure, I assure you. Mm, totally organic, no metal parts. How strange. Though scan does indicate a high degree of intelligence. Well, I'm flattered. Astounding. I can make no sense of this being. Uh, nobody can. It's the way he is. Funny. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Roboto. The feeling is mutual, King Raddor. Uh, Your Majesty, Roboto would like permission to explore our planet while our technos work on his ship. Granted. I'll leave the arrangements to you, Duncan. Uh, thank you, sire. Yes. Thank you. Not at all. It's not often we get a visitor from another world, especially one as unique as you. I have never thought of myself as unique. On Robotica, there are over 5,000 of my brothers and sisters. Well, you're on Eternia now. And believe me, here you're one of a kind. One of a kind, eh? <laughs> I think this Roboto has some interesting Possibilities. <laughs> and I, Modulot, am just the one <laughs> to make use of it. Uh, you're sure you'll be comfortable here? Yes, it almost reminds me of home. We'll be by early tomorrow morning to start your tour of Eternia. I shall look forward to it. Good night, Mad at Arms. Good night, Prince Adam. Uh, uh good night, Roboto. I think I'll get myself a nice cup of hot oil. Aha! Uh -huh. Just the one I was looking for. Hello, are you a friend of Man-at-Arms? No, I am his sworn enemy, as you will be when I am through with you. Circuits. Circuits disrupted. Can't get. <laughs> well, what do you think we should show Roboto first? Well, how about the ancient ruins? I'm sure he and the Zactons would have a lot to talk about. Good idea. Adam, look. Could Roboto have done this? Oh, no, this wall was caved in from the outside. I do not understand what it is you want from me. Why, your power, of course. Once I have finished reprogramming you, your own personality will be 
Gone. And you will be my slave forever. My friends, Man at Arms and Prince Adam will never allow that. Unfortunately, by the time they find you, it will be too late. Power amplifiers in place. Have you adjusted the radar scope to Roboto's frequency? Yes. Then let's test it. It's working. We've got a signal. Let's get going. It's done. Step forward, my powerful slave. <laughs> That's excellent. He's obeying my instructions to the letter. Now it's time for a real test. <laughs> the signal, it started to move. What's going north? Zeta, Eternia's foremost research laboratory. And soon, all its secrets will belong to me. All right, Roboto, let's just see what you can do. Forward! Hey, look! You, halt! Alter will fire! No, stop! And stop it! Let's get out of here! <laughs> Excellent! Now, for the gate! Destroy it! Now! Incredible! With your strength and my brains, nothing can stand in our way. Nothing. Man at arms, look. The signal stopped moving. Then Roboto must be right below us. I'm going to land. What is this place? Station Zeta. It's one of our scientific research bases. And someone has broken in. Roboto? If Roboto has become our enemy, he won't be easy to deal with. Maybe you'd better change to He-Man. Yeah, good idea. By the power of Grayskull! You villains, you, you won't get away with this. Take them away, Roboto. Their whining annoys me. By the time they free themselves, we'll be long gone. Uh, help! Uh, let us go, please. Put us down! Put us down! Shall I take first? Ooh, that looks interesting. Hmm, remote control. This could be of use. Delightful! Listen, it's coming from that door. Let's take a look. It's Modulock. Looks like we were wrong about Roboto. Come on, let's give that villain Modulock a little surprise. With this machine, I can go anywhere. The only place you're going is the King's Dungeon. He-Man, I'll fix you. done with Roboto, you fiend. Here's my answer to you, He-Man. You certainly got the drop on him. 
Roboto, are we glad to see you. Are you all right? Angelak must have done something to him. Roboto, listen, don't worry. We'll take you back to the palace and fix whatever Modulak did. Come on. It's no use. Of course not, muscle brain. My force field cage can hold anything. My head. Ah, you're back with us, man at arms. Just in time, too. You fiend, what did you do to Roboto? I simply reprogrammed him, wiping out his own personality and leaving him totally obedient to me. But if I were you, I would be more worried about what's going to happen to you. If you dare hurt Man-at-Arms... Hurt him? Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. I'm just going to perform a little experiment on him. Experiment? Yes, one I'm sure you will appreciate. Let me explain it to you. I'm not interested. No? Well, that's too bad, because I'm going to tell you anyway. You see, this device you're sitting in is a brain transfer machine. When I put this little headpiece on you, it will transfer your intelligence into my extra head. <laughs> no, you can't. Oh, yes, I can. Just watch. Roboto, listen to me. You've got to help man at arms. No use struggling. In a moment, my machine will be up to full power, and then... <laughs> man at arms repaired you. He made you well again. Now you've got to help him. You've got to. Fight Modulok's reprogramming. He is trying to make you as evil as he is. Well, here we go. Roboto, please, stop Modulok before it's too late. Stop! What? I cannot allow any harm to Man-at-Arms. Good work, Roboto. I don't believe it. That stupid robot has destroyed my brain transfer! Please surrender immediately or... Roboto! Must re... Keep men... Have to disrupt force field... It can't... Are you all right, Duncan? Yes, thanks to Roboto. Let's see how he is. Roboto, speak to me. My friend, I... 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 Roboto! We've got to get him back to my lab, quickly. Y you think Man-at-Arms can fix Roboto? I don't know, Orko. His circuits were very badly damaged. He was such a nice robot. Why, why, thank you, Cringer. Father, you did it! Man at Arms is a genius. I feel better than on the day I was first constructed. This calls for a celebration. Why not make it a birthday celebration? After all, this is a kind of second birthday for Roboto. That's an excellent idea, Marlena. Birthday? I do not understand. When a human is born, we call that day his birthday. Born. You might say it's the same as being constructed. Uh, 
Uh, I see. Hey, that kind of makes Man at Arms Roboto's father. What? Well, you have to admit, <laughs> there is a family resemblance. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that you mention it, Orko, I do believe you're right. <laughs> it's too bad, but sometimes people think that doing the right thing is just too much trouble. When a friend is in trouble, there isn't time to wonder whether you should or shouldn't help. You just do it. And sometimes the one you help will turn around and help you. Remember, every time you help someone, the good comes back to you, sometimes in ways you don't even know about. But it does. Another thing, there's nothing in the world quite like the feeling that comes from knowing you've done something good for someone else. We'll see you next time. Defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Think it'll take much longer, Man at Arms? No, that should do it. It's a long trip to Dark Smoke, but the Wind Raiders as ready as she'll ever be. Great! I can hardly wait to see Granamere again. This should be a pretty special trip. Yes, the anniversary of the treaty between dragons and humans. <laughs> to be invited to represent Eternians everywhere. That's a high honor. It's too bad we couldn't bring Orko along. He really wanted to come. Grenomir sent for He-Man and Man-at-Arms, and that's who he's going to get. Maybe Orko can talk to Grenomir some other time. I don't want to talk to Grenomir. I just want to see him. I'll just sneak in here and hide. Nobody will ever know I was along for the ride. Well, if Grenomir's expecting He-Man, I'd bet... Something wrong, Adam? I thought I heard something. It must have been my imagination. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> Anytime you're ready, Duncan. By the way, what were the terms of the treaty between dragons and humans? That the dragons would withdraw from the rest of the world, that the dragons could do whatever they want, and that humans are to leave them alone. Doesn't sound like much of a bargain. Have you ever tried to bargain with a dragon? <laughs> Do not presume to bargain with me, Targon. You will regret it. Targon does not like to be told what to do. Not even by you, Morningstar. I don't care. If Targon does not like my plan, then Targon can leave. But when I rule Eternia, Targon will find his life very, very unhappy. 
Very well, Morningstar. I will do what you say. For now. Excellent. Once you give me the ice crystal, I will put out the magic fire from which our beloved leader Granomir draws his powers. Then I shall take over and lead a war against the people of Eternia. And me? What of me? We will find some small role for you in ruling Eternia. Perhaps you will govern Eternos itself. Now, the ice crystal. How do I know I can trust you with it? You don't, but you have no choice. Take it then. Excellent. And now to test it, just to be sure. No! No, not on me! And now to pay a visit to Granami. Now to put out Granamir's power once and for all. Who dares? Who dares to invade my home, put out my fire, and steal my magic? Humans, oh great Granamir. What? I saw them, Granamir, with my own eyes. Well, He-Man, we're nearly there. Dark smoke should be coming into view any time now. Great. If I know Granamir, he's probably got quite a welcoming party for us. Neo, I can hardly wait. Granamir? Humans coming this way. Humans? How fortunate for me, and how unfortunate for them. There, you see, I was right. Humans, get them! Let those who stole the magic flame of Granamir feel the wrath of dragons. No, wait. They might be friends. Dragons have no friends among the humans. Well, here comes the welcoming party. Funny, they don't look very happy to see us. You're right. Watch it. Ow! Take it easy. Close. Too close. Yes, but why are they attacking us? Looks like we'll have to find that out later, He-Man. Uh-oh, we're hit. He-Man, look, the wing. If it comes loose, we'll crash. There's only one thing to do. I've got to hold on. Something's cooking. I uh, hope it's not me. We'll have to land. Land? Where? Anywhere. You've got it. They are going down. Good. Now, back to Dark Smoke. Hang on, this is going to be rough. I made it. Are you all right, He-Man? Sore, but all right. I guess we'd better... What's that? Hey, say somebody! Let me out of here! It's Doc! Orko! <laughs> Hi, guys. I just sort of tagged along for the ride. <laughs> Only this time, Orko, you tagged along for the walk. The Wind Raider can be repaired, but it'll take a while. So as of right now, we walk to Dark Smoke. Did you see which humans were in the flyer? No, Granamir. And it doesn't matter. They began this fight, not us. We must leave here now and prepare for war. Who is with me? And you, Granamir? Those who wish to may leave, but for me, I will stay. This is my home. So be it. Come, let us be off. Fly, fly, fly! 
He-Man. So that was you my dragons attacked, and not the other humans. What other humans? I... I was asleep, and some human extinguished the magic fire that gives me my powers. I fear that there will be war soon between your people and my dragons. War? Couldn't you stop them? Regrettably, no. They have not fought in a war for a long time, and they have forgotten what it's like. They have forgotten the pain, the darkness, the madness that is war. And now, without my magic, I am not able to stop them. Isn't there any way we can get your magic back? I do not know, little one. The fire can only be restored with flame brought from the Pit of Shadows. I would try to get it myself, but I am too large for the passage. And magic can only be summoned by magic. And I have none. But I do. Well, some days. I'll get that fire and bring it back for you, Granamir. I promise. The question is, where do we start? The way is through here. Follow the signs of fire, but beware. The way is dangerous. Very dangerous. All right, Granamir. We'll take it from here. Good luck, champion of Eternia. The signs point this way. webs hits you, you'll be stuck here for a long time. But how do we get past it? I have an idea, but I'll need a distraction. You've got it, He-Man. Just say the word. And to aim for those webs. Now! Now, if I can just cut that web loose... Yes, but we'd better move on before he works himself loose. And before we're too late to prevent a war between dragons and humans. The days of dragon rule have arrived. Now, at last from this dragon hold, we shall launch our attack. For we are the strongest. We are most fit to rule the race of men. We, the dragons. There are none strong enough to oppose us. Our time is now. That's it, the Pit of Shadows. Let's go. Orko, wait. <laughs> Only the good and the wise and the brave may pass into the Pit of Shadows. Let us see if your goodness will shine as the sun. Well, we can try. Good, wise, brave. You may pass. Good, wise, brave. You may pass. Only the good, the wise, and the brave may pass. I know, I know. You may pass. Two out of three is not bad. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, 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 oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> Goodbye. Pretty impressive. Yes, the question is, how do we bring some of this back with us? Uh, I have an idea. Fire far to fire near. Come with us to Grand. Do you really think it'll work, Orko? Of course it'll work. I think. It worked! 
Just what we need to get Grenamere's fire going again. Then let's go before Morningstar starts a war. So, the war begins at last. Yes. Nothing can stop us now. This village will be only the beginning. If Granomir could see this, but see, Granomir is too weak even to emerge from his pit. Yes, victory and rule of the dragons is finally won. What's this? No, they have the magic fire. Join the others. There is trouble to be dealt with, but I will return soon. Yes, Morningstar. It is too late, Granamir. The war is on. And now I'll make sure that you don't regain your magic. This doesn't look like the same way we came in. We lost. Not yet. We should be near the surface by now. Let's make our own exit. You did it, He-Man! Now to get the fire to Granamir. I'm afraid not, He-Man. I won't let you ruin all my work. Your work? So you're the one who put out Granamir's fire. Granamir? It was Morningstar. He did it. Granamir! Uh, your calls are useless, little one. Without his magic, Granamir sleeps. His time is past, as is the age of human rule on Eternia. Now, hand me the fire. No, I won't. Rocco, no, the power is too strong. That's what I was afraid of. He's got more power than he can control. Returned. My magic is restored. I am Granamir. <laughs> Great! Glad to hear it! Good work, Orko. Looks like you did it, little friend. Well, how did it feel to have a taste of dragon power? Next time I think I'll stay home and read a book. I'm pooped! Best to let him get his rest. He earned it. Meanwhile, we've got a war to stop. Doing this. <gasps> Look! He Man! Are you sure I can't help you, Branamir? No, He Man. These are my dragon brothers. I must deal with them myself. Well, they're pretty worked up. Will they listen to reason even from you? It is the chance I must take. Hurry, hurry. Press the attack. Nothing can stop us now. Wrong! The war is over, my brothers. Let us return to Dark Smoke in peace. Morningstar has deceived you. Is this true, Morningstar? If so, we have made a terrible mistake. Eh, it doesn't matter. It's time for dragons to rule. L listen to me, not Granamir. Do you challenge me? Yes, to the test of fire. It's a test of fire, all right, to see who's strongest. I only hope Granamir's had enough time to recover from losing his magic. <laughs> no, no, Granamir, no. 
I, I, I surrender. I admit it. I put out the flame and blamed the humans. Punish him, Granamir. Use the fire. It is your right. No, my brothers. It is my right. But it would not be right. We will find a more peaceful way to administer justice. And now, let us go home. It is unfortunate that all of this should have taken place on the anniversary of the treaty between your people and the dragons. But perhaps it was for the best. This little war, like the treaty itself, will help to remind us how very fragile is peace. But most of all, I regret that your village paid the price for our foolishness. We see now that you were tricked, so we will hold no grudge. Now is the time to rebuild. We will help you to... No, no, my friend, thank you. We shall rebuild the village, and we shall make it a place of such beauty, the likes of which have never before been seen. It shall be called the City of Peace, and the treaty between man and dragon will be moved there as a reminder of our friendship. Thank you, Granamir. Finally, I want to thank all of you for your help. It was our pleasure. Any time. You have only to ask. Right, Orko? Orko? I'm sure I can handle just a little dragon fire. Wow, yeah, yikes! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I haven't laughed this hard in a thousand years. <laughs> Today I want to talk to you about winning and losing. When Branamir had his fiery tug of war with another dragon, he won fair and square and stopped. He let go, because as soon as you take advantage of being a winner, you really lost. Remember, it's important to be a good loser, but sometimes it's just as important to know how to be a good winner. Winning is no excuse for bad manners. See you next time. Defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Jono's land shuttle coming. It'll be nice having children at the palace. Yes, it will. Well, count me out. Children are too rough. Now, 
now, Cringer. I'm glad Jono and Chad are gonna pay us a visit. So you be nice and make them feel welcome. Mm, I'll try, but it won't be easy. Here they come. Welcome. Hi, everybody. Hop out, Chad. See you later. Where's he going? What about the award ceremony? He'll be there. Don't worry. Jono's not gonna miss the ceremony. Not when he's getting the Boy of the Year award. Meanwhile, how about a fast tour of the palace? All right! Get that monster away from me! <laughs> Go away! You can come down now, Cringer. I can't. You, you, you know I'm afraid of heights. There is nothing to fear, dear boy. You are in safe hands. I'm not scared. It's just that... You do want the flower, do you not? Oh, yes, sir. Please. Then do as I say. You are the leader. The other boys and girls will follow you. I want to meet them tonight, every one of them. Am I understood? Yes, sir. I'll take care of it, sir. I thought you would. <laughs> and now then, your flower. Thank you. Now run along to your award ceremonies. I'll be watching you. Don't forget, I'll always be watching you. And so, my dear subjects, none can equal the value of our young Eternians, for they are our most precious gift. I don't see my brother. Don't worry, I'm sure Jonna will be here any minute. I'm gonna look for him. Uh, uh, there's the, the place. I'll take a shortcut. Our young people are the hope for the future of Eternia. Indeed they are, Randor. Indeed they are. And with the help of the young people, the future of Eternia <laughs> will soon be mine. Uh, how are you gonna do that? by making those youngsters so in need of my flowers that they'll do anything I tell them. Anything. Oh, like they'll be your army. Exactly. Then it will be bye-bye, Randor, and I, Count Mazo, will be the king of Eternia. And I get to be like man at arms, right? One sniff of my Eternia flower, fool, and you'll be man on his face, like that prize boy of the year. <laughs> and now, on with the ceremonies. Did you find Jono? No, but I did see a shuttle parked out back. Yahoo! Somebody get that boy. <laughs> Tila, look out! Jono! Hang on! I'll get something to reach him. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> Be 
Need a lift? Yes, hurry! Ah, that young airhead. Now he's brought He-Man into the picture. I'll have to act fast. Up you go! What made you pull such an awful stunt? I don't understand. I was just having fun. Jono, every young person on Eternia looks up to you. You were chosen boy of the year, and you ruined it for yourself and everybody. And I just want to know why. I don't want to talk about it, okay? All right, Jono. If that's the way you feel, perhaps you'll want to talk to me later. Jono, that was some stunt you pulled today. Wow! Uh, we'll talk about that later, Morton. There's gonna be a meeting at the Meadows tonight. I want you to be there. Well, that's so far away. What's the meeting for? I it's a surprise, but you've gotta come. All right. See you there. Adam, I've been looking for you. What is it? It's Jono. I'm so worried. He's like a different person. Yeah, I know. Have you ever seen a flower like this? I found it in Jono's shuttle. A black flower? No, never. No, Tila! Orko, what's wrong? Th th this flower is very dangerous. You've seen one like it before? Yes! At home on Trala, they call it the Black Nightmare. If you sniff it, it can do bad things to your mind. In what way? Well, it makes some people laugh or cry or see things that aren't there. Others get sick or try to do the darndest things. You mean like climb the side of a high building? Yeah! So that's what made the change in Jono. But there's no such flower on Eternia. On Trala either. Th they were destroyed years ago. Then where did Jono get it? I think we'd better find out quickly. I'll call my Uncle Montork on Trala. Maybe he knows something. Meanwhile, I'm going to talk to Jono. I'll go with you. But nobody's supposed to go in Man-at-Arms Laboratory. What were you doing there? Some other time, Chad. I'm busy. Don't leave so soon. I insist you stay. isn't here. Adam, this is strange. Chad and Burby are never apart. Hey, here's something stranger. I found out about the flower. Uncle Montorg said Count Marzo owned a flower farm on Trolla. He developed the Black Nightmare. Count Marzo. I don't know what his game is this time, but I'll bet he's taken Jono and Chad. Let's find him. <laughs> I'm picking up something behind us. It's moving in fast. Drat, the Wind Raider. Can you go faster? Oh, don't you left my stomach back at the palace. Oh, they're getting closer. Just as I planned it. Well, maybe they've landed. Let's take a look. <laughs> now, try my magic force field on for size, Prince Adam. Marzo's throwing a force field around us. <sighs> We're trapped. <laughs> Nothing works on this force field. Now, how, how about if I 
try some magic. Please don't. C -c Could you conjure up some food? That I can. Ooh, it's raw. No problem. Fire, fire, burn so bright. Cook up Cringer's food just right. Oops. Orko, please be more careful. Look. The force field is gone. Orko, you did it. <laughs> Write that magic spell down for future reference. Now let's go get Count Marzo. You mean I, I, I don't get fed? Is this not a perfect setting for the first meeting of Count Marzo's young army? Every young person on Eternia will come to meet you here tonight. And you're going to introduce them to me and the Eternia flower. Don't do it, Jono! Mm, you want me to take him away, Count? Hey, you leave my brother alone! Of course, of course. Here, young man, this is for you. It smells wonderful. Chad, don't do that! Oh, wow! Hey, what's happening? I feel like flying! Whoa! You gave him a flower. He's just a little kid. And he's getting on my nerves. He could use a long rest. Now I feel tired. Oh, so tired. Chad! Chad! This is all my fault. I'm so sorry. Enough of this sickening slop. Your friends are arriving. Take this speaker unit and welcome them. Sure. I'll welcome my friends. Never mind. I'll do the talking. Welcome, young citizens of Eternia. Welcome, one and all. Hey, this is Jono speaking. Turn back. There is danger. Turn back. Go home and send help. Young fool? Wrong, Count Marzo. I was a fool. I just got smart. We'll see how smart you are. Call out the wolf bats to keep him company. Then let's get out of here. Oh. Enough! Come on, before all of Eternia comes looking for me. Looks like they already have. The Wind Raider. Come on, let's get out of here. Please, please wake up. Adam, Tila, help! Tila, Orko, after the count, I'll help Jono and Chad. By the power of Grayskull! Get those wolf bats! Now we're going to play a game. Let's hold tails and form a circle. Now, round and round we go. Bon voyage! Hurry, you stonehead. We've still got a chance if we can get back to the castle. I think you'll be all right. My head hurts. Orko, look! It's He-Man! You'd better get both boys to the medical center. That's a good idea. Well, I must go now. 
There are dangerous animals, quicksands. We must go there, sorceress. I thought that would be the case, Adam. So I have prepared a dimensional gate for you. I was so close, that fool boy. But I won't let my beautiful Eternia flower go to waste. I... I am not through yet. Intruder on the south perimeter. Intruder, intruder. There it is. Not very inviting. Well, we weren't invited. Well, then let's go home. I can't get anything on this screen. But if anyone is out there, my iron wall will stop them. Adam? Tila? By the power of Grayskull. <laughs> I, I, I think so, so, somebody's out there, all right, and, and, and I think I know who... He-Man! Are you all right? Oh, yeah, thanks to you. Now, let's pay a visit to the Count. What is that? Well, if it isn't the Flower Man. He-Man! <laughs> Intruder in the castle! Intruder in the castle! Now you tell me. Down for the count! <laughs> and destroyed all of the black flowers and took Count Marzo and Shamira to a prison planet. It was all my fault. I'm sorry. I thought I was such a big guy, but I was just a big fool. I was a fool to try the flower, and I acted like a fool after I tried it. If you learned that, Jono, it was worth all the trouble. Yes, it was, but I'm glad it's over. We could use a little peace and quiet. Mm, I'm for that. <laughs> Do you know someone who uses drugs the way Jono used that flower? Drugs can be dangerous because of the effect they can have on the mind and body. The price one pays for the feeling a drug gives can be a loss of control, hurting someone you love, or something much worse. People often get sick playing with drugs. Some even die. Never take drugs from other people, even if a close friend says it's all right. Check with someone who really loves you. See you next time. Masters of the Universe! I am Adam, 
Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. That should do it. Well, let's try it out. Cringer, can we borrow that Rango Berry? <laughs> now, don't talk with your mouth full, Cringer. You, like I was saying, if, if you really need it. Thanks, buddy. Not perfectly. The duplicates are only half the original size. Mm. No complaints here. Orko, what are you doing here? I was lonely at the palace without you guys. I thought I'd pay a visit. <laughs> What's going on? Moss Man, this is supposed to be a secret test. I wasn't spying. Uh, I came out here for a nap. I'll go find another spot. Now, even when he's not trying to be, Moss Man's a spy. Being able to change into any plant can sure be handy. Say, uh, what are you guys doing out here with that thing? Man at Arms' new duplicating machine just made me an extra dessert. Oh, that's not so hard. I can make a lot more if that's what you want. Uh, oh, single, double, magic desserts. Turn this berry into more yummy desserts. Sorry. Well, as long as you're here, Orko, you can help us collect the tools. Orko? Well, at least it worked. This better be worth it, Whiplash. See for yourself, Skeletor. Wonderful. With that machine, I could duplicate anything. There would be no limit to my power. That's enough experimenting for today. Let's head back home. I must have that machine. It was a productive morning. And we'll be back at the palace in time to greet our royal visitors. Hurry! Faster! Faster! This ray blaster will jam the Wind Raiders' engines. They'll have to land, and then... The duplicating machine will be mine! <laughs> oh, strange, the Wind Raiders seem to be losing power. Oh, oh, oh I think we're falling! They're headed for the swamp. We'll meet them there. Hold on, we're coming in for an unexpected landing. We're safe, Cringer. On second thought. We've landed in the tar swamp and we're sinking. Oh, no! By the power of Grayskull! Throw me that 
that rope. It seems this is stickier than I thought. How about some help, Cat? Engines are jammed. I, I can't get them going. I've got an idea. They must have landed near here. Hurry, hurry! The undercarriage cable is released, He-Man. Then we're all set. Hold tight, because we're going on a little ride. I'll give the engines another try. Engines are working. Nice going, He-Man. Nice going, Whiplash. They've gotten away while we're stuck in this vile swamp. Uh, gee, how'd that happen? Your situation is indeed a desperate one, Jova. Uh, yes, it is. What's the commotion, Mechanic? It's Prince Adam, sire. Sorry, I'm late, Father. Mother? Jova, Jeta, and Jade, this is our son, Prince Adam. Our royal visitors were just telling us of their problem. You see, many wild animals roam our forests. In order to gather food without being caught by these animals, our people must become invisible. How do you do that? To become invisible, we must have... Bambite! But the supply of Bambite has been mysteriously disappearing. This is our very last piece, and it has very little power left. Which means that unless we can find more... Uh, there, there's no future for our people. We'll all starve. Come with me. I have an idea that just might help. Now, there's no guarantee this will work. But if your duplicating machine can make some Bambite, that uh, would mean... Saving our people. Look! Our trusty heat gun cuts through anything, even your palace floor, Randor. Ah, I see Jova is also here. The same Jova who refused to help me steal the diamond of Loch Mead. Big Bambite, do you? <laughs> Cringer, wake up. We're needed. I know what that means. By the power of Grayskull. <laughs> Skeletor took the duplicating machine. Come on, Cat, to the attack track. Count me in, too! Attack track, are we still on Skeletor's trail? Of course we are. Looks like Skeletor set up a few laser mines in our honor. This field's probably full of them. No problem. I can see where they are from here. Careful, there's one up ahead. Feel your right attack track. I've already noted that mine and adjusted our course. You can rest your neck, neck and neck. Won't be too long before we're out of this obstacle course. There's another laser mine ahead. Go to your left attack track. Left. I'm afraid we're stuck. You are new here, aren't you?
Finally, our chance to test the machine. It may not be long before Eternia has a new king. Me! <laughs> <laughs> Again! <laughs> Quiet, Skeletoids! You wonderfully horrible creatures! Get in line! You know what you must do. Off to the Palace of Randor! It will soon be mine! All mine! Here comes King Skeletor! <laughs> Well, no sign of Skeletor. Seems we've lost his trail. He-Man! He-Man! He-Man here? What is it, Mossman? You better get back here right away. We're in big trouble. What's wrong? Can't talk now. Hurry, please, hurry. Uh, He-Man, what do we do now? Only one thing to do, Mackinac. Return to the palace. Not much longer, the palace is just ahead. What is it, Cat? Big trouble! You mean a lot of little troubles! Skeletor has used the duplicating machine to duplicate himself. Well, one thing's for certain, with those kind of odds, we won't be able to get into the palace through the front door. Rainbow Tunnel! What's the Rainbow Tunnel? It's a secret passageway the king built for Adam and Tila when they were children. Let's go. The opening to the tunnel is somewhere around here. Hurry, He-Man! They're coming! And we're going. All right, Skeletor, I've had enough of your games. Come on out. Skeletor's our name, and evil is our game. <laughs> For your listening displeasure, a little concert. We call it the Sonic Sound Trap. <laughs> We knew you'd come. Skeletor and his Skeletoids have taken over the entire palace. My duplicating machine caused this disaster. You must find it. The moment it's destroyed, the Skeletoids will evaporate. But first, we have to think of a way to leave here. The Skeletoids already know about the Rainbow Tunnel, so that's out. <laughs> I'll show you how to leave. There's just enough power left in the Bambite for Jova to make you and Battle Cat invisible. At least long enough to get out of the palace. But it's your last piece. Without it, you and your people may starve. No matter. You and your people are our friends. It's dangerous. Please be careful. Careful! Say, this Bambite really works. Now for a little Oracle magic to help you get past the guards. Hey, you fellas, want to see something neat? Oh, single double magic desserts turn this berry into more yummy desserts. <laughs> find the duplicating machine. Look, they've got Cyclone, too. 
Oh, oh, oh no. The, the Bambite's powers get weak. We're, we're becoming visible. I see what you mean, and I'm afraid they see, too. Oh, dear. Cyclone, do your stuff. You got it. You guys get clear. I'll take care of these squirts. There, that should keep them busy enough for us to get to Snake Mountain without any more interruptions. Yeah. gonna be fun. Ready? Aim? Watch out! Oh dear. Don't worry, Jova. If those duplicates are anything like Skeletor, you can bet they're greedy and selfish. I think I may be able to use that fact to our advantage. Let's just play along with them for now. Welcome, He-Man to the new Palace of Eternia. Easy, cat. You look frightened, Jova. You have good cause to be. I don't forget those who refuse to help me. Uh, uh, you wanted us to steal the diamond and rock mead for you, Skeletor? Oh, my people never steal. Silence, you soon-to-be prisoner. All right, Skeletor. Enough of your threats. Why are you keeping us here? I want you to witness the effects of my genius firsthand. Tonight, once I duplicate an army of my cohorts, I will be the ruler of all Eternia. You will be? You confuse me, Skeletor. I thought they were to be the rulers. Aren't you going to reward them for doing your dirty work? Now's my chance to destroy the duplicating machine. This mega steel gate is impenetrable, He-Man. You'll never get to my machine. Stop him! <coughs> You're not as smart or as strong as you think, He-Man. Feeling a bit weak? Our power drain ray takes all your strength away! <laughs> Give him another ray of weakness! You mean stop, He-Man! Ready, boys? Ready! Are you all right? Yes, Jova. My energy's been restored, and I think so has yours. Bambite! Oh, dear, it's really Bambite! Who? Oh. So Skeletor was hoarding the Bambite as revenge against you for not helping him. I think Skeletor had a taste of his own medicine when he had to face himself. Literally. Well, I've learned something, too. A duplicating machine is far too dangerous to have around. I agree. Who needs a duplicator when you got me? Single, double, triple, let it be right. Please turn into lots of precious bambites. Today we discovered that getting what you want isn't always a good thing. 
When we like something, particularly something sweet, it's easy to want more and more. But nearly every time, if you have too much of something, no matter how much you want it, you'll find that it uh, disagrees with you. So next time you see some candy, remember, you can have too much of a good thing. Except me, of course. Right, man in arms? We'll uh, talk about it later. See you next time. Defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. bring the whole place crashing down. Uh, Snake Mountain can never be destroyed. However, I think I'll keep watch on the storm from somewhere else. <laughs> the storm, it's going. There, you see, I told you it was safe. Skeletor, look. A secret passage. The storm must have opened it up. Let's see where it goes. This passage must have been closed off for hundreds of years. What's this? Beware the mirror of Morivad, where bad is good and good is bad, where one may come, two depart, but only one may have the heart. The Mirror of Moravad. I've heard of it. It can make an evil double of anyone. That's it. The key to gaining the power of Grayskull. Now all we need is someone close to He-Man. Someone he trusts. But who? We must hurry, Shadow Master, if we're to keep our appointment with our old friend He-Man. Are you coming to the reception for Koldar? Who? <sighs> Koldar. He's an ally of He-Man's. Oh, that's nice. <sighs> well, wake me when it's over. But... Uh, oh, never mind. You just go ahead, sleep your life away. <laughs> I'm going to see Koldar. And if He-Man's going to get there in time, He'd better hurry. By the power of Grayskull! Uh-oh. Looks as if Cold Dar's late. I wouldn't bet on it, Orko. Oh, down, Shadow Master! Hold our old friend. Good to see you. Oh, and you, He-Man. 
It's been too long. Hold on. Mm -hmm. This could be the very person I've been looking for. That's it. We'll use the mirror of Boromad to make a double of Koldar. But we'll need a diversion, Beast Man. You know what to do. He-Man helping me out against the Trellians is something I'll never forget. Why do you call him Shadow Master? Because, little friend, he can disappear into any shadow, no matter how small. Really? Not bad, I guess. If that's the best you can do. Uh, now, the way I... <laughs> now, Orko, you shouldn't bother Shadow Master. He's very sensitive. Uh, me? But, but, but he... I uh, mean, me... It, uh... <laughs> oh, he's just joking with me. Orko, I thought you said you had a new magic trick to show us. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, just let me get my stuff. Be right back. He-Man, an urgent message from Kathanae. They're under attack by sand crawlers. Ah, sounds like trouble. Can I help He-Man? We'd be glad to have you, Koldar. Let's go. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Let's say... Uh, hey, where'd everybody go? Good shooting, Tila. That ought to scare it away for a while. One down, three to go. Attack, Shadow Master! Now, Shadow Master, the rope! Having a hard time deciding which way to go? Then how about going this way? Or this way? Or maybe around here? Just two sand crawlers left. I'll take it from here, he man. Shadow Master, let's take these sand crawlers where they can't do any harm. <laughs> this looks like a safe place. Cut them loose, Shadow Master. There. Now to get back to. Help! Help someone! It's coming from inside that cave. Stay here, Shadow Master. Are you all right? Can I help you? Too late for that, Koldar. Too late to help anyone, <laughs> including yourself. Evil Lynn. What? You'll find out when you meet Skeletor. So good to see you. You're just the person I was looking for. All right, now that you got me, what now? I want you to bring me the secrets of Grey Skull. <laughs> You're mad, Skeletor. I'll never help you. Not you, perhaps. But what if there was another you? But there isn't. There will be now. Unveil the mirror of Monobad. Why, it's... it's me! Hmm. Not you, but your opposite. The mirror makes the reverse of whatever it sees. Well, Double, what will you do for me? I will convince He-Man to let me into Castle Grayskull. Once there, I will steal the source of He-Man's power. The secrets of Grayskull. No! Oh, yes! <laughs> Magic stones will let us control the beast! There. Now it will obey you just as if you were the real Koldar. When you get to the palace, hide this. It will put everyone inside 
into a frozen state until I revive them after I have the power of Grayskull. He-Man, over there. So there you are. You had us worried. Huh? Oh, yes. Well, I'm fine, uh, Tila. Now let's get back to the palace. I've never seen him so impatient. There must be something important. Come on, let's see what it is. I want to thank you for your help with the sand crawlers, Koldar. It was my pleasure, He-Man. But now I have a favor to ask of you. Of course, just name it. Anything? Well, yes, anything. Very well, then. I wish to see the inside of Castle Grayskull. What? I've heard so much about it, I'd love to see it with my own eyes. And you did say anything, He-Man. It's quite a request, Koldar, but you're right, I did say anything. So I'm honor-bound to keep my promise. Thank you, He-Man. You don't know how much this means to me. Welcome to Castle Grayskull, Koldar. Now, what's the first thing you want to see? No, He-Man, the question is, what's the first thing you're going to see? I don't understand it. What am I going to see? You're going to see me disappear. <coughs> Koldar! Koldar, where are you? What are you doing? You'll find out, He-Man. But by then, it'll be too late. <laughs> He-Man, you have let a stranger into the secret passages of Castle Grayskull. Yes, his name is Koldar, Sorceress. He is, or he was, a friend. Then I cannot help you, He-Man. The magic of Grayskull itself prevents me from taking action. For it is written that Castle Grayskull must forever be a safe haven for the friends of He-Man. I understand, Sorceress. <laughs> I'll find him, Sorceress, if I have to search the halls of Castle Grayskull forever. If I can just get that cover off, got to be careful. Good. Now all I need is... Skeletor. Silence! I only wanted to tell you that your double has entered Castle Grayskull. Now it's only a matter of time until the power of Grayskull is mine. Don't bet on it, Skeletor. You fool! Did you think your puny weapons could have any effect on me? I, uh, I guess not. I guess you're just too much for me, Skeletor. You guess right, Goldar, as you'll all find out soon enough. It worked. Now I just hope that the mirror did what it's supposed to do, and that you're a good version of Skeletor. Yes, I am. Here, let me try to get you out. Listen, there isn't time. You've got to get to the Royal Palace. Warn them about what's going on. All right, I will. I just hope they believe him. Looking for something, Koldar? You're trespassing in the Hall of He-Man. These captured weapons go back to the early history of Eternia. If you came for one of these... I didn't come for a weapon. But as long as I'm here... Let's see what this does. Pisatroids. Have fun, He-Man! Got to get to the freeze ray. Got it. 
Now let's see if we can't cool you two down a bit. Holder, show yourself. What do you want? There's, well, there's someone here to see you. Show him in, by all means. Uh, very well. Father, look! Skeletor. No, not Skeletor, but his double. Please, let me explain. I've come to help. Here, here it is. It's a freeze field. It could put the whole palace into a state of suspended animation. I've got to stop it. No, 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 don't. It could be booby-trapped. Real Skeletor would never have done that. Then he really was telling the truth. Come on, Tila. We'd better get him warmed up and hear the rest of his story. Aha! What have we here? And who might you be? I am the guardian of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. You have come for the power? Yes, of course. Then hear me. The secrets of Grayskull are behind one of these doors. Open the wrong door, and you will find not the power, but only what you deserve. But which is the right door? First, you must answer a question. You must tell me why you want the secrets of Grayskull. Because it is power. Because with the secrets of Grayskull, I can rule Eternia. I can rule the very universe itself. The test is complete. Open the left door. At last. Wait, don't do it. You're too late, He-Man. The power of Castle Grayskull is mine now. What's that light? That is the light that reveals your true self. For that is the wrong goal. It wasn't colder at all. It was a double, a mirror image. But where's the real Koldar? I guess I'll have to see his trick later. Well, 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 who do we have here? Ah, oh, He-Man, you're just in time. Uh, this may sound hard to believe, but this is Skeletor. That is, it isn't really Skeletor, but his double. He was created by the Mirror of Moravad. He's here to help us. He even saved us from one of Skeletor's freeze fields. I know it sounds strange, He-Man. That's all right. I believe you. Tell me, do you know where they're keeping the real Koldar? Certainly. I can take you there. Then let's go. Okay, here's the... Oh, no. Not again. You'd better go ahead. Make sure nothing happens to Koldar before we get there. Right. Beastman, prepare Koldar for the freeze chamber. We'll see if being put on ice for a while will cool him off a bit. Yes, Skeletor. Hey! <laughs> How'd you do that? How'd I do what? Uh, 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 uh. Never mind that. Where do you think you're going, eh? To get Koldar, Master. To ready for freezing, like you said. No! No, you're not to do anything until I tell you to, understand? Uh, yes, Master. Well, Beastman, is Koldar ready? Uh, but, but you said not to. You said to... Uh... I said to prepare Koldar for freezing. Now go prepare him. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, oh, boy. And what do you think you're doing? But you said... Never mind what I said. Just do what I said. All right. Uh, uh, uh. What? It's an imposter. Quick, you fool. You fool. Uh, uh, which one? Him. 
Lee, uh, will you make up your mind? Uh, uh-oh. That sounds familiar. Gotta go. Hey, man, look! Two Skeletors! Which one is the right one? I am! Hmm, I have an idea. Repeat after me. He-Man, I am your friend. He-Man, I am your friend. He-Man, I am... Uh, I can't do it, and I do not look like you. Come on, let's find Koldar. Oh, how can I thank you, He-Man? There's no need. That's what friends are for. Well, my job's done. Glad I could help, He-Man. Now, I must return to the mirror. Now, no one's gonna leave, right? Right, Orko. I'm gonna get my stuff, be right back. Now that I think about it, it's too bad we don't have two Orcos. Two of me? That's impossible. Nobody's magic is powerful enough to make another me. <laughs> there, there, I mean, I mean it, eh? Oh. Really, Orko? We're just redecorating. If you don't like the mirror, just say so. <laughs> Did I say something funny? <laughs> you know, sometimes we think of people as being all good or all bad. Well, we shouldn't. Very few people are all bad. It may be hard to find, but if you look for it, chances are you'll find some good in most everyone. And the best way to start is to never judge anyone by the way they look, but rather by what they do. Actions speak louder than words or appearances. It's something to reflect on. <laughs> so long! the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, by the power of Grayskull. became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Greyskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Oh, the sun's still in my eyes. Hmm. That's strange. It hasn't moved since we started playing. Yeah, you're right. And those clouds haven't moved either. Oh, isn't it t -t time for lunch yet? It's still 10 o'clock. That's the time we started playing. Well, maybe your watch stopped, Taylor. Well, perhaps, Orko, but the clock stopped too. Then the nap I took doesn't count. I guess I'll try again. Something strange is going on here. It's as if time has stopped. Help! What was that? Help! Someone's in trouble. Let's go. Do we have to? Reach for 
far enough. Yeah! This is a job for He-Man. Oh, I was afraid of that. By the power of Grayskull. <laughs> Let's go, cat. My stun ray will hold him off. Wait, Tila. He-Man! That Holofer won't hurt you. He's just frightened. Holofers have a keen sense of time. He sensed something was wrong and he panicked. Come on, big fella. Let's dig our way out of here together. Home sweet home. Now to get Tila and the girl out of the hole. I am honored to be saved by He-Man. You're welcome, miss. I am Princess Cathay. Princess? Princess? Yes, daughter of Emperor of Simba. We're pleased to meet you. Come with us back to the palace, Princess. My pleasure, for he who gives the gift of his company gives the greatest treasure. Tila will see you safely to the palace. Let's go, Cat. Please stay with us at the palace, Princess Cathay. Yes, my dear. Your majesties are most generous. But I have a mission to carry out for my father, the Emperor. Oh, don't you want to stay and watch me do some magic? I would like that, Orko, but I cannot. I must finish my journey to Hourglass Mountain. Isn't that where the Keeper of Time lives? Yes. He and my father, the King, have been captured by the evil wizard, Hexon. Ah, so it was Hexon who stopped time. But if time has stopped, why are we still able to move? He has taken the very last second in an hour and divided it, and divided it again, on and on, so that the same second will go on forever, or until he gets what he wants, our kingdom. How will stopping time help him? It is written that the emperor must appear before the Council of Seasons on the first day of spring and request permission to rule for another year. And with time stopped, Spring will never come. Exactly. The crops cannot be harvested, and the kingdom, indeed all Eternia, will fall. The sun will never set. There'll be no moon, no stars. Nothing will change. We must do something. Yes, Adam, you go to the council and warn them about Hexon. Tila, you and Orko go with the princess. Thank you. Now, please, we must hurry. I worry for my father. Try not to despair, Princess. Hexon will be stopped. Well, the task is nearly complete. Now to be sure that not another moment will pass on Eternia. Away you go, now! To the sand dunes of Ranya. If we will send the sands of time there, how will we ever find them again? They'll be lost in all that sand. Correct, former Keeper of Time. Only my magic can retrieve just the right grains of sand. Only this last grain of sand, this last second of time, remains. I will keep time itself prisoner until I am Emperor of Sinba. It will be mine forever! <laughs> there it is, Cringer. The Temple of the Council of Seasons. You go ahead, Adam. Sorry, old friend. We have a job to do. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs>
Summer Count Fall and Mr. Winter with nothing to do. Oh, what's the use, Lady Spring? You'll never get the flowers open in time. Spring will never come. Don't count on it. It's He-Man. The wizard Hexon has stopped time. He intends to come here to claim the throne of Simbar. Is there any way to stop him? Yes, but it will be difficult. You must prevent Hexon from coming here to claim the throne. Failing that, you must find a way to start time moving again. But be sure that the Emperor is here in time, or he will lose the kingdom. That is our law. We cannot change it. I understand. Let's go, Cat. Help will come. You will see. You're wrong. No one would dare challenge me. But just in case, let's see what's happening outside. Ah, the Princess Cathay and a couple of friends. They look harmless, but just to make sure, I shall go to prepare a welcome fit for a princess. <laughs> That's what you think. Hexon! I'll take care of him with my stun ray. All right, that does it. For evil, there's a price to pay. Wizard, wizard, go away. <laughs> Beware, little one, of someone bigger than you. We're trapped. You'll never free my father now. Sorry I can't stay, but I'm off to claim the throne of Simba! There, cat. Straight ahead. He man. He's headed for Hourglass Mountain. I must stop him before he frees the Emperor. Go back, He man. You haven't got a chance against my magic. Don't be so sure, Hexon. I intend to stop you from going before the Council of Seasons. You'll fail, as the princess and her friends did. I have them safely trapped where they won't be any trouble. Then let's see if we can cause him a little trouble ourselves, eh, Cat? Farewell, He-Man. The clocks may have stopped, but your time is up. My electric giant will see to that. This fellow is in for a shock. Well, that's one way to short circuit a giant. <laughs> Let's go, cat. <laughs> Looks like your garden's a little overgrown, Tila. It's not mine, it's Hexon's. He's trying to keep us from getting up to where he's got the Emperor prisoner. I can go on ahead, but the vines are too slippery for Tila and Cathay. I think we can take care of that. A little dry sand should make these vines less slippery. There, that should take the fight out of them. Well, after you. Better 
better stay here, Cat, in case there's trouble. Right, he man. Keep going, Cathay. You're almost there. Don't look down. I'm sleeping. <laughs> gotcha. I owe you my life again, He-Man. How can I ever repay you? Well, you're safe, Princess. That's enough reward. I will not forget this, for he who thinks of others first will always be remembered. Look! Teela's reached the door! Let's go! The door is locked, He-Man. <laughs> help just in time. Hmm, they're imprisoned in a force field. How do we get them out? Well, with a test, Hexon's power is the force of evil, but my sword is used only for good. Let's see which is stronger. If I can just pull hard enough. Look, it's opening. Hurry, I can't hold it open too long. Father, are you all right? I am fine, but now you must return the sands of time to our glass, He-Man. Tell me, Keeper of Time, where did they go? Hexon sent the sands of time to the sand dunes of Ranyar. I need them to start time again. All right, I'll get the sands back. Tila, you take the Emperor to the Council of Seasons. Hexon is probably already there. I just hope we're not too late. Therefore, noble council, you must proclaim me as the new emperor of Simba. Hmm. We must consider your request, Hexon. Just a few more minutes. Sorry, Lady Spring. Time's up. Not yet it isn't. Council of Seasons, I have brought the emperor. Yeah, that means nothing. He must wait for the first day of spring to reclaim his throne. And spring will be here. For He-Man is going to return the Sands of Time. Uh, uh, we'll see about that, Princess. He-Man will not interfere this time. I'd better help He-Man. Magic powder whirl and blow to the Sands of Time we must go. Funny, nothing happened. <laughs> oh, I get it. Magic sneeze powder. <laughs> <laughs> This may take forever, Battle Cat. Ah, we're running out of time! Very funny, Cat. Not bad, He-Man, but now watch this. I'm ready for you, Hexon. So am I! You are looking for the sands of time, He-Man. Let me help you find them. Arise, sands of time. Duty calls. And imprison He-Man within your walls. <laughs> He-Man will never fight his way out of this one. What's going on? Just a little water to cool you off, Hexon. I'll take care of you. Hemi! Orko, the sands of time. They're here. Hmm. I got an idea. Watch. I'll get you out of there, He-Man. You little magical nuisance. Temper, temper, Hexon. You haven't even begun to see my temper, but you will now. Sands of time arise once more and add another to your core. Bet you can't catch me, Slowpoke. Slowpoke couldn't catch a thing. <laughs> What's he doing? He's trying to get the sands to follow him. Be ready to grab Hexon. Time to take a dive. We're free. And there's Hexon! I hate to 
to spoil your takeoff, Hexan, but you're in for a rough landing. I must get back to the council. The higher they are, the harder they fall. Looks like I've got a wizard to catch! Need a lift, Hexan? Good catch, Cat. Here he is! Thanks. Now, where's Orko? What are you doing in there? Why didn't you say so before? I'll get you out. Thanks, E-Man. Now, let's get the Sands of Time back to the Keeper of Time. Just about finished, E-Man. It is done. Time has started again. I have a new helper. Come, Hexon. You have a few clocks to set. And when he's finished here, the authorities will come to pick him up. He'll be doing time for a good long while. Let's go, Cat. Orko, the council should be started. Right, He-Man! I am honored to present my father, the Emperor. Please step forward, Emperor. What's wrong, Emperor? I am waiting for He-Man. His first duty is to honor friendship. Your Majesty, I'm here, and I have good news. The sands of time are running again. And Hexon, well, he's going to be busy for a long time. Ah, Council of Seasons, I, Emperor Cathar, humbly request that I may continue to rule Simba. We know you are a kind and good emperor. Request granted. Oh, hello. Is spring over yet? It's only just begun, Mr. Winter, thanks to He-Man. No, Lady Spring, thanks to a very brave girl who risked her life to save her father. Ah, you weren't afraid with me around, right, Cathay? I was frightened of Hexon's magic at first, Orko. But one thing overcomes all fear. A daughter who has the faith of her parents has the strongest magic of all, love. Well said, Cathay. <laughs> well said. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if time did stand still? The flowers and the plants would never develop to their full potential. And neither would you. Time is important to everyone. Plants, animals, and you. As you grow, you learn. And as you learn, you change and develop. And that development is the thing that determines your future. So time is our friend. If we use our time wisely, we'll enjoy all the good things that life has to offer. Defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty Battle Cat, and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together, we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. On 
this day, at the announced hour, King Randor will hear the requests of his people that he may do whatever he can to help them. Long live King Randor! Isn't it wonderful? What other king goes so far out of his way to help his people? None. And it does open some very interesting possibilities. <laughs> Skeletor, where are you? I have news! I was feeding my pets, Evelyn. Is it better be important? My pets don't like their feeding time interfered with. Do you know what today is? On Eternia Day, people in need of help are brought into the royal palace. Once there, they can ask the king for whatever help they need. And during the ceremony, the king holds the scepter of power, the symbol of authority over all Eternia, centuries old. That's it! We'll steal the scepter of power. But how? I have a plan. I can cast a spell to make one of them look like a citizen of Eternos. Once inside the palace, he is to steal the scepter of power. Yes, yes! Uh, it's risky. We'll need someone expendable. Someone we can do without in case he's captured. <laughs> not me! Not me! I, uh, 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 I'm not feeling very well today. Me too. Cowards. I'll do it, Skeletor. It'll be a pleasure. There's just one danger, Skeletor. Orko. As a magician, he might see through a spell of disguise. Ah, I can take care of Orko. Then the scepter will be mine. An excellent plan I came up with, eh, Evelyn? <laughs> the scepter of power, Adam, handed down from generation to generation, from my grandfather to my father to me, and someday, Adam, to you. You see, the scepter embodies all that is true and honorable. But more than that, it is called the scepter of power because it serves to remind us that the real power belongs to the citizens, the people whom the king is honored to serve. That is why Eternia Day has always been important to me. It's vital that you be here, Adam, and on time. I'll be there, Father. Which reminds me, I'd better go out and find Orko. If he's out practicing his tricks, we may not even see him until tomorrow. Okay, now for the hard part. You like acorns, right? Good, now watch. Bring us something small and neat. A pear now, something good to eat. <laughs> Sorry. Orko! Well, gotta go. Here he comes. Skeletor, evil Lynn, what, what are you doing here? Oh, why, we're here to see you, Orko. Yeah, well, I hope you didn't come to see me too long because I'm gone. Now, Skeletor! He can't see through our magic. If we take away his magic... What, what was that? Orko, where are you? Better get out of here, fast! Oh, there you are. What kept you? Skeletor! Skeletor? I wonder what he's up to. Oh, I don't know, but I feel funny. I mean, somehow, like, I, like, I, like I lost something. Hmm, I wonder. Grow in lightning, grow in showers, make a bunch of pretty flowers. Oh, no. My, my magic, it's gone. Skeletor, this must be his doing. But why? And how are we going to get your magic back? I wish I could help you, Arco, but... I don't know what to do. If this were a scientific or medical problem, that would be something else again. But magic? It's a little out of my league, Orko. Isn't there anything we can do? Well, well, there might be. According to legend, there's a magic waterfall where people who have lost their magic can get it back. Where is it? 
I don't know, but there's supposed to be a secret gateway far below the surface of Eternia. Then that's where we're going. But uh, what about the Eternia Day celebration? Your father will be expecting you if you're not there. I'll be back in time. We've got a few hours before the ceremony starts. If Skeletor wants Orko without his powers, then we, or He-Man, had better find out why. By the power of Grayskull! He-Man! Come on, Orko. Let's try to get your magic back. Is this it? I don't see the magic falls. These are the coordinates that you gave me. If this isn't the right place, it's not my fault. I tried. Well, let's go check it out. There's something behind this, all right. But first, we'll have to clear some of this debris out of the way. <laughs> That's it! A, a, a force field! Hmm, speak the magic word and enter. There must be a secret password, but how do we figure it out? We may not have enough time for that. Let's try a more direct approach. Oh, it's starting to give. Wow, that's some doorbell. Speak the magic word, friend. Then enter. Oh, but, but what kind of magic word? I mean, I mean, what's the password? What am I supposed to do? Say, please let me in? As a matter of fact, yes. Even a door likes a little politeness now and then. Thank you. Now, let's go, He-Man. Right behind you, Orko. No. You tried to force your way inside. Therefore, you may not come in. Uh-oh. He-Man. Now what'll we do? Hmm. Maybe He-Man isn't allowed inside, but he didn't say anything about Adam. Boy, that was quick thinking, turning back into Adam like that. Now that we're inside, it's clear sailing to the Magic Falls. Every time you say that, Porco, something goes wrong. Not every time. Every time. Oh, sounds like we're stuck. We better check it out. Hmm. Looks like some sort of. Hey! Stuck. Here, Adam, let me try. Wait, I have an idea. I'm too far, and you're not strong enough, but together, maybe we can do it. Here, give me your hand. Now, grab the sword and pull. Uh, oh. uh, that's it, Orko. A little more. By the power of Grayskull! Demon. I can't stick around, but I've got some spinning to do. Hey, Nito! You're winding it all up! So much for this. There. Now let's get going and get your magic back before Skeletor tries whatever he's got up his sleeve. There's got to be a way across. I guess I can float across. But what about you? 
Looks like the bridge is our only hope. Hmm, I have an idea, but I'll need to get some rope from the attack track. Where is he, Duncan? Where is he? It's almost time for the ceremony. Adam promised he'd be here. There's uh, still plenty of time for Adam to show, Your Highness. He'll, he'll be here. I hope so. It's nearly time. You know what to do, Cobra Khan. Yes. Sneak into palace, drop sleep pellet, take scepter of power. <laughs> but first I must cast a spell of change to disguise you as a citizen of Eternia. And now where stands the Cobra Khan? Let there be a mortal man. Nice. Nice. I could only change the way he looks, not the way he talks. It'll have to do. Without that meddling fool, Orko, no one will know what is happening until it's too late. Then the scepter, the symbol of all power over Eternia, will be mine. <laughs> like I've always said, Orko, if you can't get to the bridge, then bring the bridge to you. I'll take care of that. All right, here I go. Come on, track, you're next. You sure it's safe? We won't know for sure until you're across. I wish I hadn't asked. <laughs> Only joking. Now come on, move it. We made it, He-Man, but, but, but what about you? Right behind you, Orko. Here goes. Now, let's see if we can... What do you want here? Well, if you answer me... My friend here is trying to get his magic back. Can you take us to the Magic Falls? Can I take you? <laughs> I am the gatekeeper. I can take you everywhere and anywhere. Yes, no, no. Oh, was that uh, any place and everywhere? Yeah. Well, um, uh, perhaps uh, some place and... No place? No, no, that doesn't sound right at all. It, right, well, you see, it's been, uh, it's been 300, no, no, well, 400. Well, a terribly long time since anyone's asked me to take them anywhere. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm a little trusty. I mean, rusty, but I'll try. Thank you, gatekeeper. My pleasure. The place you see is in another dimension. I, I'm just not sure which one, so we'll just have to keep looking until we find it. E-Man, where are we going? I wish I knew. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Hmm, I wonder what these are. Yuck, I mean, me were that name. Uh, do you know what the magic waterfalls are around here? <laughs> oh, thanks anyway. That <laughs> I, I, I don't think this is the right place. Let's try somewhere else. <laughs> Gatekeeper, I don't think this is the right place either. Perhaps you're right. Yes, well, we'll, uh, we'll try again. Now then, you say you have a request for the king? Yes. What? I mean, yes. All right, you can join the rest over there. Hey, I was here first. Are you sure? Uh, maybe not. Uh, maybe you were here first. Well, Duncan, any sign of Adam? 
None, sire, but I'm sure he'll be here if you can just give him a few more minutes. No, the ceremony must begin on time. If Adam wishes the people of Eternia to know that he has better things to do than listen to them, then let it be on his own head. Well, Orko, is this the place? I don't know. It's so dark, I can't see anything. We're not alone. No, no, this, this isn't the right place either. We may as well give up. We're never going to find the magic waterfall, and I'm never going to get my magic back. Give up? But Orko... No, no, wait! No, 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 don't give up yet! You forgot, I am the gatekeeper. I see all things. I, I know all things. Uh, uh, I, I know I'm a little confused, but... Uh, oh, come on, give me another chance. Uh, just one. <laughs> How about it? Well, all right. Thank you. Yes, you, you won't regret it. Uh, I hope. <clears throat> Orko here. Your magic calls. Now we find the magic falls. <laughs> Well, looks like we made it, Gatekeeper. Thanks. It was my pleasure, He-Man. Boy, this is where the very first Trollin got his magic. I just hope it still works. Well, here goes. It's working. My, my magic's coming back. I, I can feel it. Yee-hoo! Well, Orko, how do you feel? Good. Then let's get out of here. Right. Only this time, I'll drive. Now, if we're going to feed our foe, back to Eternia, we must go. All hail King Randor of Eternia! I am sorry that my son, Prince Adam, will not be here. But in his absence, we will... No, wait! Adam. Orko. Sorry to be late, but we went out too far and got, well, a little lost. Well, at least you're here. Now we can proceed. Let the first citizen of Eternia come forth. Now, citizen, how may I help you? I... No, wait! Orko, wait, what are you doing? So something's wrong here. I, I can feel it. Hmm. Spell of change, spell of disguise. Show your true form to our eyes. <laughs> Con. Yes! What scepter of power! Take it now! Sleeping gas. Leave it to me, Cobra Con! Please don't stay! Take your troubles! Far away! Good work, Orko. The supercharging helped, but it won't last very long. See? Back to normal and at full strength. <clears throat> If there are no further interruptions, let us begin. Call forth the first citizen of Eternia. By the way, Orko, where did you send Cobra Khan? Oh, someplace where he can, uh, get away from it all. <laughs> oh, good. It's another visitor. What can I do for you? Get me out of here. My pleasure. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Where is this? You know, there, there are times this job is an awful lot of fun. <laughs> On their way to the Magic Falls, Adam and Orko discovered not only the secret of the Gatekeeper, but an important lesson as well. In the Gatekeeper's cavern, Adam was too far away to grab his sword, and Orko, without his magic, wasn't strong enough to pry it loose. But when they worked together, they combined their strengths and got the job done. You don't have to be the biggest or the strongest when you help one another. Cooperation! It's almost as good as magic! Oops! Sometimes better.
and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Stabilizer is going crazy. We're out of control. This is incredible. What's happening? I don't know. Just hang on. The light is blinding. I can't see. Check your computer. Whatever hit us pulled us way off course. It did more than pull us off course. I think we're blown right out of Earth's solar system. If we're not in Earth's solar system, where are we? Mark, I think we just entered some sort of other galaxy. Are you sure? I'm not sure of anything. I just know we're someplace I've never seen before. Well, wherever we are, we've got to find that meteor again. How do we do that? Our computer's not working, and I can't plot a course without it. Mark, the sensors are working again. There's a planet below us. Readings indicate that there's life down there. Coordinates, Niner Niner Zero Zero. Let's hope we can find it. Well, you should have excellent weather for your trip, Adam. Oh, I wish I had... What kind of ship is that? Well, I don't know, but whatever it is, it's in trouble. You found the life forms, Colonel. But how do we know if they're friendly? We don't, Andrea, but you're going to find out. Me? How? You're going to eject. Won't you need me up here? No, it's going to be a rough landing. I won't risk it with you here. And with what we've got on board, I can't risk landing anywhere near those below. What can I do to help? Well, pray that I find a nice, soft landing spot. Head due north. That will be your best chance. Activate your homing device. I'll contact you when and if I land. Happy landing, Andrea. but we'll soon find out. Are you all right? Who are you? Where are you from? My name is Major Andrea Steele. I'm an astronaut. You are from Earth? How could you know that? I was once an astronaut. You... You're not Marlena Glenn. Well, yes, I am. I, or was. But you... You disappeared. We never knew what happened. It's a long story. But tell us, why are you here? I take it your ship is in trouble. Yes, and my commander stayed with it. He's trying to save the ship. Why didn't he eject? He just couldn't. You see, we are Earth's only hope. What do you mean, Earth's only hope? For years, people from Earth have been sending satellites and rockets into space for protection and space exploration. Most of these could not be brought back and were left to drift in space. 
But astronomers recently discovered a magnetic meteor hurtling towards Earth. Its magnetic force is attracting any dead satellite or rocket in or near its path. The meteor is becoming enormous and deadly. What do you mean, deadly? If that meteor crashes into Earth, it will destroy our planet. Oh, no. So your mission was to destroy the meteor before it hit Earth. Exactly. So please, help me find my commander. He should have contacted me by now. I'll organize a search party. I'll go with you. No, you stay here with Andrea. I'll call you if I need you. Don't worry. We'll do everything we can to help you. Thank you. How much time is left before the meteor? 14 hours. Oh, Mark. Mark, where are you? <laughs> I can't fly over that mountain. I'll, I'll have to land the ship now. <sighs> so far, so good. Better contact Andrea. So look at that. It looks like something out of a horror movie. It looks like some sort of monument to evil. <laughs> a slight correction, intruder. It is a monument to greatness. Who are you? What are you? You'll find out who and what I am soon enough. The question is, who are you? Take him, Spycor. My name is Colonel Mark Blaze. That is all I will tell you. You'll tell us more than that, Colonel. The Truth Scanner will make you tell us everything we want to know. My name is Colonel Mark Blaze. I am from the planet Earth. My mission is to destroy a meteor on a collision course with Earth. We carry a very special missile. A missile powerful enough to blow up a giant meteor. Or powerful enough to blow up a castle. <laughs> yeah. Great idea, Skeletor. Take him away! This time, I will finally rule Eternia! <laughs> This will hold you? You two guard the prisoner. Skeletor and I are going to look at that missile of his. You watch him. I'm going to get some sleep. Well, don't make it long. I'm tired too, you know. It's Colonel Blaze. He's alive. I can find him now. Come on, Cringer. We've got to help. Oh, no. Now he's got me ch ch chasing women on sky sleds. By the power of Grey Skull. <laughs> frightened, Andrea. Who are you? My name is He-Man, and I'm a friend. I want to help you and your Colonel. Colonel Blaze is not in the ship, but he is very near. That way! 
Cat, be careful, we're heading for Snake Mountain. You don't make it. I won't bet you anymore. You don't pay when you lose. Lucky you didn't bet. It's Mark. He's being held prisoner by those two creatures. The shaggy one is Beast Man. The one with two heads is too bad. I'll have to take care of them before we can free the Colonel. Let me try something. This always works on TV. Watch. Hey, hey, cut that out. Cut what out? Don't hit me with those stones. Go back to sleep, fur face. You must have been dreaming. <laughs> I warned you. Two-faced practical joker. So you want to play games, eh? Now it's my turn. <laughs> now we can call you pale faces. <laughs> Now it's my turn to throw stones. <laughs> Look! Don't get smart. How can I see anything with these pails over my head? The cell door is open. Stop fooling around, you furry fossil. The cell door's open. Let's take a look. There's nobody in here. There he is now. Good work, He-Man. Thanks to you and your idea. That should hold you two. Or is it you three? Skeletor took the missile all right and damaged the firing mechanism when he did. Just in time. Good, the Colonel's safe. Yes, but Castle Grayskull isn't. What do you mean? Skeletor stole the missile. He means to destroy the castle with it. We've got to stop him. No, Duncan. Andrea and I will take care of Skeletor. You and Colonel Blaze stay here and try to repair the ship. I'll contact Tila. We'll need her help. Hurry, He-Man. We've got to save Earth. I know, and not just Earth. If Skeletor uses that missile, no one can stop him from ruling Eternia. At last, once the bomb is planted at the doors of Grayskull, I will take what I want. At the doors? But, Skeletor, how are you going to do that? <laughs> Special delivery. Now, down, Screech. Perfect. Soon the knowledge of the universe itself will be in my brain. A nice, safe, empty place, eh, Skeletor? He-Man, and another one of those Earth creatures. Evil Lynn, get the woman. I'll take care of He-Man. Beautiful, Andrea. Where did you learn that? My father taught me how to cook. My mother taught me judo. And I'm about to teach you a lesson. We'll see how brave you talk when Castle Grayskull is mine. That bomb will be my key to Grayskull. I have to get that thing fast. No time for the jawbridge. Here goes. He made it. Yes, he did, didn't he? But this should keep him away from the missile. 
Sure, Skeletor, we'd better leave before that missile explodes. Right! I've got to catch that missile before it hits something. Come on, Raider, got to go faster. That missile is Earth's only hope. You did it, Duncan. I'm afraid not. What do you mean? The launching mechanism was damaged beyond repair. We can't send the missile on its way. Hmm. Skeletor set the detonator to explode in 49 minutes. Then our mission has failed. We cannot save Earth. Is there time to intercept the meteor? Possibly. But what if we could get the meteor in time? What if we could launch the missile? How are we going to get back in Earth's galaxy to do this? Father, you've got to think of something. Colonel, do you have a recorder on board? Yes. The Queen still has her recorder. Quick, we've got to get back to the palace and compare the readings on those two recorders. Look, Colonel, the calculations from both recorders are both the same. It's a long shot, but if we duplicate the readings on the computer, it might blast us back into Earth's solar system. No, that wouldn't work. Your only chance is to reverse the readings. Of course. You're right, Marlena. No wonder your skill and knowledge are still legendary on Earth. But we still can't fire the missile. Leave that to me. Let's go. The computer readings match the ship's log. Hang on, He-Man. I'm going to reverse the computer readings now. It's working! It's working! There's Earth. Earth. So that's where my mother came from. What did you say? Nothing. I'm just talking to myself. No sign of the meteor. How much time do we have before that missile goes off? Three minutes. We'd better find that meteor. There it is. We found it. Hey, man, there are only 40 seconds to go. Now, how in heaven's name do we launch the missile? Just get us closer. Can't get much closer. Closer. Whatever you're going to do, do it now. Open the canopy, Colonel. Let's try out our new rocket launcher. Me. You? Now dive, Colonel. Dive, let's get out of here. Four, three, two, one second. You did it. You mean we did it? Now let's really get out of here. remembers me tell them that I am well and happy very happy I promise I will Queen Marlena why don't you come back home with us 
This is my home. And this is my family. We understand, Marlena, but maybe you can all come and visit Earth someday. Well, I'll miss you, Colonel. And you too, Andrea. You are both very brave people. Who knows? Maybe we will see them again. Maybe we will visit Earth one day. Today's story was make-believe. You know that Earth was never really in any danger, but you can still learn something very important from today's adventure. Andrea and Colonel Blaze would never have accomplished their mission if He-Man and his friends had not joined together to help them. Helping others is a wonderful thing, and when you do, you're really also helping yourself. You see, for one thing, it makes you feel good. Who knows? The next time, you may be the one who needs the help. Masters of the Universe! I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty Battle Cat, and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together, we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. It sure was. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm, I'm glad you like it. This is my little one, Doodles. Oh, he's very timid, don't you know? And he sometimes doesn't do everything I tell him, but he has a very good heart. Gee, he reminds me of someone. Yeah, reminds me of you, little buddy. Yeah, that's right. Maybe we can play sometime. Oh, you're welcome to play with Doodles anytime you want. Gee, thanks. May we see just a little more, Zagras, please? Very well. Away, my friends. <laughs> Time for an encore. But what a waste! He plays with him! All that power and he plays with him! But, but Skeletor, remember the trouble you had the last time you tried to use a comet? Yeah, besides, Sagraz is the only one who can control those goody-goody comets. That was the beauty of the cosmic comet. It was already evil. It was easy to control. Wait. Yes, yes, that's it! <laughs> 
I've just had a delightfully wicked idea. All I've got to do is control Zagras, and I will control the comets. Uh, you're gonna go after Castle Grayskull with the comets? Of course, Fangface. Now go get Zagras and bring him here. feel so much better when I do something bad. <laughs> Goodbye, Sakras, and thanks again for the show. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm so happy you came. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. L let me go. Stop struggling. No, you stop. You don't know what you're doing. The, the comets, the, the comets, oh, oh, stop, please. My comets need me. Welcome to Snake Mountain. I'm pleased to have you as my guest. Oh, don't give me that. My comets will go wild without me. You're causing a great deal of trouble. Don't I always? I want you to use your comets to help me defeat He-Man and break into Castle Grayskull. Never. Oh, you must let me go, for goodness sake. I never, ever do anything for goodness sake. <laughs> Everything I do is for the sake of evil. But there's some good in everybody. Not in this body. <laughs> when are you goody-goody fools going to understand? I am completely and utterly evil. I live to be bad. I care for no one and no one cares for me. Oh, what about your friend here? Watch your mouth. Yeah, don't ever call me that. You see, the, uh, th that is, he hates me. But what is more important, he fears me. That's the way I like it. You can trust someone who's afraid of you. Oh, that's terrible. How can anyone be as evil as you? Oh, you flatter me, Comet Keeper. And speaking of comets, you're going to use yours to help me, or I shall keep you in my dungeon forever. <laughs> I just love the view from this balcony. Me, me too. It's, it's so peaceful. Hey, look, Zagraz must be playing with his comets again. That's odd. We shouldn't be able to see them from here. I wonder what's going on. Yes, Duncan, what is it? I think you better come down here right away. Something's wrong. Uh, I, I'm in the lab. I'm on my way. Zagraz's comets are not even close to where they're supposed to be. That's what has me worried. There's no telling what effect these comets may have on the world. Have you tried calling Zagraz? Yes, but he doesn't answer. Maybe you and Tila should fly out to his mountain. He may be in trouble. Hey, look, that one's heading for the ocean. Boy, it's a pretty good thing there are no people out there. The comet is too near the water. It's causing a tidal wave. The comets are going all over Eternia. That tidal wave is only the beginning. Those comets will start windstorms and avalanches and who knows what else. Look at all that. Tidal waves, sandstorms, avalanches. So far, no one's been hurt. The comets have wandered into vacant areas. Oh, no. Oh, no. One of the comets is heading this way. Quick, we need He-Man. By the power of Grayskull. time to explain, but I can use your help. You got it. Let's go. This is going to be tough. That comet is zigzagging all over the place. What are you going to do? I've got to stop that comet. Well, how? Oh, you're not going to jump on it. I'm going to try. 
Just hold it steady. A little closer. Hey, man. I've got to catch him. Hey, man, are you all right? Yes. When it zigged, I zagged. It's going to hit that tower. Get me down, fast! No time, I've got to jump! Have to fix this later. Hey man, are you all right? That fall. Yes, I'm fine. But we must hurry to Zagraz Mountain before anything else happens. Can you see the mountain? I can't see a thing. Got a feeling Zagraz isn't here. How did you get so smart, Musclehead? Skeletor. No, no, no. Oh, you came looking for your friend. Huh? Well, no one's home. Zagraz is with me. If you harm one hair. Harm? Why, Zagraz and I are partners. He's going to help me open Grey Skull. Oh. Oh. The game is almost over, He Man. I hope you enjoy losing. <laughs> Zagraz would never join forces with Skeletor. Skeletor's bluffing, but he might hurt Zagraz if he doesn't cooperate. He Man, look! That comet's heading right for us! He Man, you're in the comet's path, run! I've never played a game of catch with a comet. want to play here on the ground? Why don't you be a good comet and go back to the sky? Back you go! Phew, that was a close one. Behind you. We'd better stop playing Catch a Comet and get to Snake Mountain. Oh, you, you lied to He-Man. I am not your partner. You will be, once you come to your senses and do as I say. Oh, I will never help you. Skeletor, intruder alert. I know what it means. It's He-Man. Of course it's He-Man. They say two heads are better than one, but I think they're wrong. Did you think He-Man would do nothing? Uh, do you want me to try my new defense system? No, I want you to open the front door for him. Of course I want you to defend Snake Mountain. I don't suppose you have this kind of problem with your comets? No, <laughs> my comets are good. Not for long. <laughs> Snake Mountain, get ahead. Be careful. Skeletor will be expecting us. Uh, activating the pulsar. The radar is stalled. We're falling. Hold on. Controls don't respond. We're going to crash into that rock tower. Not if I can help it. I can just hook one of those towers. Hold on!
Are you all right? Oh, what a ride! Yes, I'm fine. But we're sinking! Hold on to me. Okay. Mud doesn't make it any easier. Oh, they they came down in a swamp. You you want me to go after them? Yes, yes, if your two heads can find the way outside. I don't like him when he makes fun of me. I don't like him. Period. The rainer is going to need a bath when we get back. <laughs> That's for sure. Let's go. It's not going to be easy to get to Snake Mountain through this swamp. We are Sawgrass's only hope. We must get through and rescue him. Hey, hey, keep, keep a sharp lookout. He-Man must have come down near here. There they are. <laughs> Seen us. Split up. They can't follow both of us. You can't follow me here! Oh no! Look out! Oh, hold on! I'm going through! on the other side of that rock. Hmm. Are you two through playing around? Let's get it! Right! Yup, I fell in the mud! Better you than me. <laughs> It'll be easy to get inside Snake Mountain using their own vehicle. Please let me go. You must before my comets ruin all of Eternia. I will. Once you direct them against Castle Grayskull. I can't. I can't. That would mean the end of everything. It's going to happen anyway. Eventually, one of your comets will hit Grayskull. Help me do it now, and you'll save the rest of the world. Saving the world for you to rule is not saving it. That's your opinion. And mine, Skeletor. He-Man, who let you in? The door was locked. We let ourselves in, and you need a new door. Now let Zagraz go. Forget it. Zagraz is mine. You want him, and you have to fight for him. <sighs> Fighting is all you ever think about. Yeah, you're wrong. I think about ruling all Eternia more than I think about fighting. Fighting is a close second. You think you must fight to get your way. Fighting is no way to solve differences. I think it is. That's why you'll lose. Wanna bet? You broke my staff! You never learn. As long as I'm around, I will not let you do evil. More trouble? Wonder what that could be. Dog Ross, what's the matter? Why, why, it's Doodles, don't you know? He made it over to this side of Eternia, and he's coming this way. Is this one of your tricks? No, no, I, I can't do anything while I'm bound. Release Zagraz so he can stop the comets. I don't need his help to stop one measly comet. I'll do it myself. <laughs> Don't destroy the comet. Fun out! Uh-oh! Gangway, I'm coming through! Oh, my poor dude! 
Toodles. What did that villain do to my little friend? Take it easy, little fella. You'll be all right. Now you're free, Zagraz. We must get back to your mountain. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't think of anything but my poor Doodles. He's always been so timid. You saw how brave he was today. You saw, didn't you? Yes, we saw. He was very brave. I'm gonna miss his singing. Doodles! <laughs> Doodles, you're all right. Is that renegade rock still here? Doodles, where are you going? Oh no, not you again. It's so bad. Yeah, it, it just takes some getting used to. Who asked you? I am home, my friends. <laughs> I, I am home. That's wonderful, Zagras. Oh, it was nothing. <laughs> it's so good to be home with all my friends, don't you now? Especially my little doodles. <laughs> <laughs> Some people think the only way to solve a difference is to fight. Skeletor, for example, his answer to every problem is fight. He doesn't <laughs> care who's right or wrong. He thinks that might makes right. Well, it doesn't. He-Man knows that. Even with all his power, he always tries to avoid fighting. Fighting doesn't solve problems. Fighting only makes more problems. <laughs> See you soon. Defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty Battle Cat, and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together, we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. I don't think I've ever been ready for one of your tricks. <laughs> Which means he's just about as ready as he'll ever be, Orko, so let her rip. Okay. Thanks. Uh, I think. One, two, three colored balls. And now for some juggling. No hands this time. I can't look. Three I see and three I say. Round and round and round away. Orko. Now what? Oops. Those pieces of equipment are irreplaceable. 
If anything happens to them, I'll... Why, I'll... Hey, don't worry, Man-at-Arms. I'll get them. Get back here! <laughs> See, he, even they won't listen to me. Made it! Now for a little catch. Got him! Oh, nice and safe, too. Khan, what are you doing here? I seek He-Man. Why? What do you want with him? I speak only to He-Man. Where is he? He's, um, he's unavailable. So if you want He-Man, you'll have to tell us why. Yeah. Very well. My people, the Reptons, are in great danger getting cold. Eternal flame that warms them is out. If it's not fixed soon, they will hibernate. We'll sleep forever. I never thought I'd see the day when Cobra Khan would come to He-Man for help. I still haven't seen it. And from the sound of it, I don't want to. Well, I can't speak for He-Man. But the Reptons have never done anything to us. They're a peaceful people. Except for him. But we can't let one bad sheep or, or snake spoil it for the rest. Take us to your people, Cobra Khan, and we'll see what we can do. Meanwhile, we have a truce. Agreed? Yes. Truce. Agreed. Are you, you, you sure you want to do this? Of course. That's good, because I'm not sure I want to do this. We have to, Cringe. We can't ignore a plea for help just because it comes from someone we don't like. So, let's go. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> Quiet track. Yeah, is something bothering you? I do not like that that machine. You mean the land shark? Yes, it has a big mouth. <laughs> hey man, do you hear me? <sighs> Speaking of big mouths. No, no. <clears throat> yes, Cobra Khan, we hear you. This is dangerous place. Traps. To slow down humans. Be careful. Now that is a switch. Cobra Khan telling us to be careful. Looks like he had a good reason to. Lock! It's a core lock, and it's blocking the path. And that's not all it's doing. You all right, Track? Never felt better. Good. Now let's see if we can't clear that road. Look at those arms! We'll never get past it. Wanna bet? Uh-oh, I think he just took that bet. <laughs> Sorry, but we can't stay around here all day playing catch. Hmm, maybe a quick game of tag might be a good idea. Let's see how good you really are. Missed me. <laughs> Missed again. Not very good at this, are you? Maybe if we tried all at once. The Corla. It, it, it's got him. No, Orko. Looks like it got itself. <laughs> there, that ought to hold it for a while. By the time it untangles itself, we should be long gone. Im. Impressive. What? You, you 
saved me. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh, no time for thanks. Must go. What a strange day this is turning into. Well, Orko, let's get back to the attack track. Like he said, we'd better go. Right. You will understand soon enough, man-at-arms. Then I will not save you. <laughs> Well, this must be the place. The entrance to the home of the Reptons. Yes, my people, come. We must hurry. Well, Track, it looks like we'll have to leave you out here till we get back. Do you have to, E-Man? I'd rather not stay out here with... with... that. This won't take long, Track. You'll be fine. Easy for you to say. You're going in there. I'm stuck out here with Smiley. <laughs> nice day. Now cut that out. Looks like Cobra Khan wasn't kidding. The lower we go, the colder it gets. I just hope that when he takes us to the Eternal Flame, we'll be able to relight it. Speaking of Cobra Khan, where is he? Every time I turn around, he disappears. Here. This way. All right, follow the leader it is. Oh, that's funny, no sign of Cobra Khan. He did it to us again. Cobra Khan! Hello! Khan, are you there? Say, what's this? <sighs> Maybe Cobra Khan's inside. Come on, let's check it out. This must be the room of the Eternal Flame. From here, the Reptons heated their entire underground world. Or used to. That flame is definitely out cold. And reptiles can't function when they get too cold. Hmm. The opening must lead down. Stop! So at last we have you. The villains responsible for destroying the Eternal Flame. Seize them! Wait! You don't understand. We've come to help. I understand. I understand that you have put out the Eternal Flame that keeps our people warm. You will have your chance to explain to our king. Then he can divide. A suitable punishment. Ah, punishment, huh? Let's get him, He-Man. No, Cat, wait. We came here to help, not to fight. Perhaps when we see the king, we can explain to him. So, for now, we'll go quietly. This way. Cold. It is getting so very cold in here. Cold? You call this cold? Why, where I grew up, it was so cold we had to put sweaters on the icicles. <laughs> ah, friend Scales, even your jokes begin to suffer the effects of the cold. Soon we will all be forced into the sleep of hibernation, and I shall not hear your jokes again for a long time. <laughs> Which, come to think of it, may not be such a bad thing after all. Right, I, uh, what? Oh, your highness. Uh, yups. Yes, Chancellor, what is it? We have captured those who turned off the eternal flame. That's not true, King Pythos. I can prove our innocence. I've tried to explain that we were brought here by one of your own people. He can tell you that we came here to help. Oh, do not believe them, your highness. We have a witness to their crime. What? That's impossible. 
thought no one saw you. <laughs> Bring forth the witness. Cobra oh, Khan! You, you snake! Flattery will get you nowhere. Silence. Is this true, Cobra Khan? Did you see them put out the eternal flame? Yes, it was them. Hey, wait a minute. Are you going to believe him or us? I know Cobra Khan. He is one of our people. I do not know you. Take them away. Sorry, but we're not going anywhere. Right. Oh, yes, you are. Fire coils. Snake coils should keep you busy. Don't count on it. Looks like your time's up, Cobra Khan. No, He-Man. Time to sleep. <laughs> Venom mist. Hey, <sighs> I can't stay awake. You've done well, Cobra Khan. Take them away. We will decide their fate later after they awake. I will attend to it, your highness. Cobra Khan, we had heard that you'd turned to evil. By helping us capture these villains, you have redeemed yourself. Too late to do any good. Soon it will be too cold, and we will all enter the time of sleep. Perhaps not, highness. What if I could restore the eternal flame? Hmm. For that, Cobra Khan, you... You could have anything you wish. Be anything you wish. Even be king? 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 Eh, perhaps. What good am I as king if my people are all asleep? Yes, agreed. Whoever succeeds in restoring the eternal flame shall be king of the reptiles. So let it be. Good. Excellent. Just as I planned. Hmm, by my beard, there's something strange going on here. Even stranger than the fact that I don't have a beard. So perhaps I should keep an eye on Cobra Khan. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Once this ice crystal is removed, the eternal flames will return. Then I shall be king. <laughs> no! It's not working. The ice crystal must have put the flame out permanently. The question is, what do I do now? I don't know about him. But I know what I'm going to do. He-Man, you're awake! Just barely. That venom mist really packs a punch. Now, let's get out of here! Right. Let's see what this door is made of. Hey! You didn't have to do that. I was coming to get you! Why? Has King Pythos decided on our punishment? No, no. I'm on your side. My name is Scales. We need your help to light the eternal flame. We've heard that before. Now, oh, Battle Cat, let's hear him out. And it better be good. Uh, well, well you see, Cobra Khan, well, he... Uh, well, it's, it's a long story. Oh, come on. I'll explain it along the way. So it was Cobra Khan who put out the eternal flame. That's right, he -Man. He was going to blame you, then turn the flames back on. Then he would be king. Only now he can't make the flames work again. You've got to help us. Well, that's what we came here for in the first place, Scales. We'll do what we can. And then we'll take care of that Cobra Khan. Right, Battle Cat? <sighs> it's what I live for, Arco. <laughs> Well, uh, can you fix it? It's getting colder and colder down here. I don't know, Scales. The hole leads down to an underground layer of molten lava. This is the source of your fire. 
when the fire was put out for too long, the hole collapsed. We'd need to drill hundreds of feet long, a block and tackle, and even then there's no telling how long it'll take. That's it, then. It's hopeless. Not quite, Scales. There might be another way after all. That stalactite should be just the right size. Good shot, He-Man. Thanks. Now, everybody stand back. I'm going to need plenty of room. What's he going to do? Drill to the center of the planet? If he has to. Got to drill deeper. Hmm, according to my calculations, He-Man should reach the layer of molten lava right about now. Wow, that looks neat. Yeah, I feel better already. So do I. Cobra Khan. So, you were here the whole time. That's right, He-Man. Thanks for fixing the flames for me. Now I shall take credit for your efforts. <laughs> and then, once I am king... What is the meaning of this? King Pythos. I demand an explanation. I turned the flames back on and caught them trying to stop it. Hey, wait a minute. That's not true, sire. Silence. Cobra Khan, do you swear on your honor that what you have told us is true? I do. Well, here we go again. Guards, seize the guilty one. Hey, what's going on? We made the mistake of listening to you once before. I do not intend to repeat the mistake. Take him away. I want to thank you, He-Man, for your help. And now there's something else. My agreement with Cobra Khan was that whoever restores the Eternal Flame will take over as king. He-Man, the throne is yours. Oh, thank you, Your Highness. I'm honored. You are indeed a man of your word, but you were tricked into that agreement. And besides, you are just the sort of king these people need. The honor is mine. Hey, where's Scales? I wanted to say goodbye to him before we left. Scales is, well, he's training his new apprentice. Scales? Coming, your highness. Scales and Khan, at your service. By having brought difficulty to so many, Cobra Khan's punishment for as long as he is here is to make people happy. Come on, let's show them that new trick I taught you. See? Fun, isn't it? Uh, yes! And I hate fun! <laughs> <laughs> Today we learned the importance of making the right decisions. When Cobra Khan lied about He-Man, King Pythos believed him at first because Cobra Khan was one of his people. But later he learned that trusting Cobra Khan was a big mistake. So when you have to make a decision about something, don't just jump at the first or the easiest answer. Think it through. Look at both sides and then decide. That way, whatever decisions you make will have a better chance of being the correct ones. See you next time.